sorry I'm running late today. It's, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> oh, really? Hey, Brooke. She says, good things it's Friday because this day has been annoying as heck so far. It's a gentle way of putting it. Lori says, a hundred pairs of earrings. I like the way you think, Vaughn. We'll see what we get done. Honestly, even if I get 20 pairs of earrings made, that's still 20 pairs. But, and I'm so scared of dropping it every time I pick it up. But I picked out all the beads already. And the plan for this is we are going to, I'm going to set this down before I make a mess. Um, hey, everybody, by the way, welcome to our live stream. We're going to try to make 100 pairs of earrings today. Um, I'm going to be working in titanium, antique copper, non-tarnished copper, and vintage bronze. So I picked enough beads to do those <laughs> um, into 100 little cells on that uh, tray that Gavin sent us. And we're going we're gonna to see how much we can get made. So, and I'm mostly going to be using 18 gauge but there's one bead size that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use um 20 gauge on so that's gonna be the one that I put together first oh thank you it's it's been I don't know a minute since I wore some eyeshadow but I feel like you know eyeshadow goes to like here right so <laughs> hey Sarah did you get my email with the braided necklace bar possibly we're still we're chronically whittling through and I'm not complaining because I love hearing from you guys, but we were chronically whittle whittling through um, our mountain of emails. Like, I still don't think I've replied to Hawk. <laughs> like, and that was like three weeks ago. <laughs> so, um, but it's, you are there in my inbox. I just need to go through and like <sighs> reply to everybody. So, ah, thanks, Nancy. Brooks is finishing up a project. Finishing a project per week is an insane level of production for me. Right on. Now you do some pretty, like, intense work, though, don't you? I just got my package. Ah, right on, Lisa. Move on. Show off that gorgeous braid. Oh, really? You, I haven't seen the back of my head yet. Oh, I guess I can look on Randy's computer. I hope it's not. Is it nice? Oh, wow. Oh, I did good on that today. I bathed in everything, you guys. What's the wow, I don't know. I just felt like smelling nice for once. Um, sorry. I'm also like, I got some work-life balance this week, um, somehow, and I feel all, like hyper. <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, Hawk. <laughs> got you, Brooke. Oh, thank you, guys. I'm really digging wearing my dreads again because my hair is finally long enough and it's actually, uh, it's helping with like my scalp. I have like psoriasis on my scalp so whenever my hair's loose, I'm sitting here itching myself like I've got a condition, I guess because I do have a condition, <laughs> um, but with my dreads in, I have to use a stick to itch it. And so I have like a specific stick that I'll put like my, my tea tree lotion on and like and that way it's not tearing up my scalp and it's actually healing for like the first time in years. So TMI moment anyways. What are we doing? Okay, we're going to do 20 gauge because it's these guys. It's these beads. I had to go through my whole assortment to find some that would fit on this 18 gauge wire. And this is the design um, that... No, don't be blurry. This is the design that we're going to be working on today. We're using mostly 6 to 8 millimeter beads. Um... And I'm using some little stainless steel, like silver toned beads um, on all of them because I only have silver toned ear hooks and it makes it look a little bit more on purpose. So, um, what do you mean when you put them in? I wear wool dreads that like I made, well, I made some of them, but some of them also were made by friends of mine and people that I ran into on the road. But I wear these wool dreads that are just braided in. Um, just because, I don't know, it's, each one is a little, depending on whenever, because I, I put them in and take them out, like, once a week, probably. Um, but whenever I do that, it's kind of, like, a little bit of, it, it's, like, an hour and a half of, like, super intentional. I'll put on some music, last some candles, and just, like, try to get my spell, myself in the right, like, headspace um, of where, you know, my goals for the coming week, like, all kinds of stuff. And that way, through, uh, through the week as I'm wearing them, I can 
remind be reminded of all the things I want to be reminded of. Hey. Don't you drink my coffee? <laughs> we have clean bowls, I just wanna say. I know I, I know. And I know you're traditionally supposed to drink coffee out of a cup. <laughs> just but... just put it in the pot, please. Don't shame me. Ooh, because we're doing the teapot today. Because we are eventually gonna get to crafting. So I'm going to use, I'm not entirely certain how much wire this uses, and it's cold and windy, so we are we have the heater on. I'm sorry for the loud noises. Um, aw, thank you, Brenda. And let's see. Aw, hey, cat. Ah, Diane says, I took a shower today, too. We're in the Cool Kid Club. We washed our bodies. <laughs> Rub it in, my <laughs> Oh, sorry, babe. He hasn't had a chance to shower yet because I keep asking him to do like 700 million things. Got a big old flake in my hair. All uh, right, on Lisa. I'm gonna let's go ahead and get this. Instead of you looking at the tripod, we're gonna go ahead and get this flipped around. There we go. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Ooh, honey and lemon and tea. That does sound good. Okay. I have too many things in a bunch of different spots. And also my workspace is a disaster. So we're going to do a little bit of tidying up just real quick. I don't know. Like, my phone did an update today, and I hate everything now. There we go. Oh, y'all. We got a tutorial recorded for this style of cabochon. Hey, Penny. How's it going? So the style with the twisted braid for the side. It is a very replicable design, so I'm really excited about that. Wave to your knees. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Um, tea sounds good, right? Penny says, I'm so cold. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, and then also, y'all, we and I'm going to be showing you guys this again in our uh, Monday shop update, what's new tour, but uh, we got a bunch of bracelets made. Randy went through and did all the jump ring, like the chain mail connections um, for me, which really, gosh, it's so much easier when Randy does half the work. Um, <laughs> you laugh, but it really is, babe. Like, I don't know how I could do it without you. I just, I don't know if I would, not full time like this, like. I need me too. You were cold? Mm -hmm. I'm a poor baby. Okay. Oh really? Go grab your, uh, it's Santa cloak. It's too <laughs> early to put on your Santa cloak, like it's evening wear. <laughs> Time's a construct, go be warm. <laughs> or you could put on your jacket. Well, I don't know how to help you. you sit here and be cold. Okay, is this how you feel when I've got like a very solvable problem, but I'm willfully resisting all yes. of your attempts at stuff? Oh. Ninety-nine point nine nine eight nine percent of the time. Yeah. I don't know why there's an eight nine in there. Sometimes. Why wouldn't there be? <laughs> okay. I also need to attach these guys. Those are from like a project like a million years ago. Um. Beep boop. Oh, well, thanks, Lisa. Just have a little bit of time with it. Oh, okay. What? Or force her to go shopping. Mm. Says her tum -tum oh, her tum tum. It, I don't believe that she actually said tum tum. <laughs> you showing me? Oh! <laughs> My tum tum hurts. <laughs> okay, so we're using 20 gauge, and I'm going to cut two lengths of five inches and we'll kind of tweak it from there now since this is 20 gauge i am going to do a wrapped loop but i won't be doing that on the other ones that are 18 gauge 
so we might not need as much um, wire for the other earrings because they won't be wrapped but we'll see okay so we've got that end in there I am going to use my mandrel pliers just because I really love having the consistency of I don't even have to think about it and y'all I had even on these ones I marked a notch into my round nose pliers let's zoom in oh my gosh this is so all right on Lisa so even though I do have a little notch marked on my round nose pliers it is still somehow too much thinking and I'll still get a little off so I do like using my mandrel pliers okay <laughs> And I know I just cleaned everything up, but I'm taking all my pliers back out again. Um, email? Yeah. Now, also, if you want other folks to see it, like, it, it, you can tag us on Instagram or post it to our Facebook wall, but if you want to make for absolute certain that I see it, send it to me in an email. It can take anywhere from three weeks to six months for me to reply, apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, there's no one to blame for me, or no one to blame but me for that one. Um, but it is what it is. Okay. So I'm just coming through, and I'm going to see if I can fit these little beads. No response needed. Okay. Man, that's a crimp bead. Will you be coming to Alabama this year? That's the jokes. I am hoping that we might be able to do a fall camping trip to DeSoto State Park in Alabama, but I don't think we will be doing any vending. All right on. Hey, Julia, how's it going? We're just getting started, um, and we are going to try to make all of these beads into earrings today not necessarily in this two hour time slot this will probably go over into the after party as well we will not be in illinois anytime this year the only vending events we have lined up are um anime st louis and dragon con Uh, hey, Lewis, how's it going? Okay. So, yeah, I've just slid on. You can see how much of a hard time I was having getting these little beads. And this is 20 gauge, so. And I'm going to try to get all of these up to the same point before moving on to the next step. go Woo. yeah we got some seeds started uh this week and we have some more stuff coming for it tomorrow yes we're coming to atlanta it'll be labor day weekend for dragon con some seeds started like it's it's barely into the thick of it so what well, what else have I done it's been a blur of a week like I could use yeah, like, reminded what you had me order it of what what did we order 300 of for you gardening Oh, okay. Well, that was just 300 packs. Okay, never oh, mind. Okay. It's just well, I don't know. It just feels Not different than... Okay, I see what you're saying now. Um, <laughs> well, Lisa, the thing is, is at Dragon Con, we are kind of inseparable from our booth. Yeah. 
we will not um, be able to get out to lunch. Yeah, we, we can't do any kind of, like, Dragon Con's the absolute worst time to socialize with us. Um, but if, you know, Dragon Con's a really fun event to go to, and if any of y'all are already there, and you'll please stop by to say hey in the booth, and you'll get some shopping on and stuff, but, um... Yeah, if it's something where it's oh we're gonna go see Randy, but it's like nope, we, we we don't we don't want folks to get disappointed that we weren't able to hang out more, um, which has happened in the past. And the thing is, is we're equally disappointed that we didn't get to hang out more because it's like man, we got to see Sarah and Aaron there a, a few years in a row, like pre uh, COVID. Like it was it was really cool to get to meet some of y'all in person. But like y'all like we're like okay, well, we're gonna go, and it's like bye. <laughs> This 20 gauge feels quite thick. That's okay. Ooh, right on, Diane. Try crafty method of growing food. It's amazing. Oops, I zoomed in too far. Hydroponics. Have you ever tried hydroponics? We have not. They, in the past, whenever we were on the road so much, um, hydroponics just, it needed more attention than what we were able to give it. And, uh, and now it's kind of, we're so set in our ways that <laughs> anything different is like, am I going to have to spend more money? Uh, right on, Anne. That's so cool. Okay, so I'm just snipping. There we go. And since those are the only ones we're doing in the 20 gauge, I'm going to go ahead and get down the 18 gauge spools. Hey Randy, could you help me out by trimming off five inch sections of this wire? Um, what? I, no, 99 divided by four. No, actually it's 96 divided by four. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, just start cutting wire, like. <laughs> I am making a hundred pairs. So two hundred wires. Yeah. Divided by four. Yeah, except for I already did four of them because they were different wire sizes. See, and that's where I complicated it, isn't it? Why are you doing this? <laughs> I don't know, honey. I'm sorry. How much? Five inches. I'm gonna need a straight. Clippers. I don't have, uh, there's yellow handed clippers in the, uh, by my beating station. But I guess I'm not using them right, I'm using these ones, I can't lend them to you, I'm sorry. Do what? I'll just chew through it. Yeah, just chew through it, babe. <laughs> right on, Adrian. <laughs> oh, right on, Jean. I don't know, shipping's pretty, pretty crazy expensive here lately. Oh no, Lisa says my messages aren't updating. Well, I saw that one. So there's that one. Now again, we're doing wrapped links on these ones. Because with 20 gauge for earrings, if somebody wears this with their hair down, I do not want it ripping the earring apart when it gets tangled. Ah, uh, hey Shireen, thank you so much. I'm glad you, you like what we're doing. Okay, so now we have done that step. And you'd be surprised, like, most folks are like, why are you, know, like, assembly line work in jewelry making really does cut down on a lot of time in production because just the fact that I don't have to set my pliers down and then find them and pick them back up in between each thing, um, it really does help to streamline things for me. Just a moment, babe. That's one. One. Do you want to do it's all of them? Nine hundred and what? Seventy-two more to go. Is that really how many we need? There's no way. I mean, I'm not like a math wizard or anything. Um. Oh, 
because I was thinking I would take it through and instead of doing like silver, all of the silver ones first, I would just tackle it and wipe out that bead color scheme. But I'll take the uh, the wire however you give it to me, babe. Are you using silver? I am. Have you already got those good? No. There it is. Oh, I totally forgot that one right there, didn't I? That's okay. Oh, book says, is there some kind of trick to making it so that your eye pins don't look like pee loops when you go to wrap them? Yes. Doing that 90 degree bend first. Like, have you followed along with our um, wire wrapping masterclass lesson one? which is all about just making links and wrapped links and we really go in depth into that. There we go. So how we did that 90 degree bend, now whenever I line up are you using mandrel pliers or round nose pliers? Because it may, I'm going to try to make mine look as much like yours as I can. So, whenever we're holding the wire in our pliers and then we shape the loop around, I get to around to about there to where it looks like some kind of pin that you would put in like a dolly to keep the handle from sliding out. Um, I get to there and then bend around and straighten it and I just it's just being attentive I think really really detail focused and then we can go into doing the wrap why oh my god Adrian said you're so talented did you wake up talented or did you grow your talent I don't think I was a naturally talented person um, I, I don't know, because it, it's, some things come really, really hard to me. I'm very dyslexic. Um, I was terrible in school until I got pulled out of school and homeschooled. Um, which basically was my mom and dad taught me how to learn, because it's, it basically was kind of drilled into me that it's like, honey, you're not particularly bright. Um, some of these things are going to be really hard for you. You might need to get used to having to try real hard just to keep up with you know everyone else um and so I just really really leaned into being used to being the dumbest person in the room and not being afraid of looking foolish or sounding stupid or anything it was like you know if anybody's like man you sound really dumb I'll be like hurt because I am thanks for noticing <laughs> but it, it really um helped me shed that kind of self-consciousness that I think keeps a lot of people I think everybody's talented. I really do. In, in, and I mean that. I'm not just saying it to be nice because quite frankly people are terrible. Um, but everybody's talented. Um, it's so many of us just have this fear that keeps us from blooming um, into our talent. And it was from very early on I just kind of shed that fear and it's like if I'm gonna if people are gonna have a low opinion of me or if I'm not gonna perform well or anything like that then I guess that's just how it is all I can do is do my best and I think that got a lot of peripheral tomfoolery out of the way and let me just get to being me and doing my thing and I think a lot of people see that and be like wow you're talented and it's like no I just took the I just took my filters off and let myself bloom and I think whenever y'all take your filters off and let yourself bloom whether it's a self-imposed one or whether it's you know a filter that somebody else put on you once you can shed those things I think you'll really surprise yourself if you just let yourself try <laughs> Elijah, he says, I get you. It doesn't make sense when people call me an artist or talented, especially when I see my attempts at symmetry. It, it's just, I mean, I, I think everybody does have natural talents. I, I think I definitely have a talent for more, uh, you know, artistic things than necessarily like 
calculus or people skills or you know anything like that so where some folks are very randy's so good at being patient is his biggest talent oh bye kit oh i was just seeing you um i think we'll be selling these for like 10 what do you think randy price on these earrings 15 yes okay randy says 15 <laughs> but it's you know i don't know i just I, I i really enjoy it and i work really hard at it and i do it all day every day and i think that can look like talent but a lot of it is just i work a lot and post pictures of my best work on the internet <laughs> so <laughs> i'm really just a potato but thank you. That really means a lot that y'all are so kind to me. I hope y'all can show yourselves the same kindness with your own work. And these beads do not want to fit on anything. Bye, banana. Hey, what? What? I know any work these for. Oh, that sounds great. I know, that's that sounds really good. Thank you, honey. Ooh, this is how far are you from Joplin? I don't know. We go to Joplin for Sam's Club, so not too far. Yes. Oh, the sale is still going on. We are having... I might be in top chat. I don't know, Elijah. the last one, is it? Last one of what? Last day. I don't know. Um, how do I make it? Oh, I don't know how to... Do I click that? Yes, I'm in top chat. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, Misty. Yep, Diane says, I always told my kids, you don't know what you can do until you try. Very, very true. I stand by that. That's good advice. These little silver-toned beads do not want to... There we go. We got one. So in today's episode of Will It Fit... But it was like, because I was remembering like in band, there were some kids that like seemed really talented. And I was always comparing myself to like, man, I wish I could. But it turned out they, you know, they practiced so much behind the scenes that like you just don't see the kind of work that goes in to make it look like talent. But uh, my band directors were like, hard work will always get you farther than talent alone. Now talent helps. But hard work will always get you farther than someone who's got talent but who isn't putting in the work. So it's spring 30. Uh, no spaces. Just I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm scatterbrained. We are running a 30% off sale on our wire cabochons and handmade jewelry. Um, and the code is spring 30. No spaces, no punctuation or anything like that. And, um, that's going, I think, until Sunday. Sun Sunday. Sunday. Some, some right? It sounds like a kind of car or something. Um, oh, no. <laughs> oh, right on. Gotcha, book. Because my daughter has Mobius syndrome and we have to figure out ways for her to compensate, especially with speech. It's extra difficult because her disorder causes facial paralysis. That is a unique set of challenges. Well, she's lucky to have you as her mama and in her corner. Oh, oh, Benjamin, that's such a good idea. Why do you put the ones that don't fit back into the box? Put them in another box so you don't have to try them more than once. That's a very good idea. I'm not going to do it because this is my last one. <laughs> but next time, that's a very good idea. Why do you want to take away my entertainment? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Woo, we did it. Okay. All right, on book. So from here, we are going to do, how did I do this? We're going to do an itsy bitsy spiral. Boop, boop, boop. All right, on G. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> it's like having a plant in the audience that like, hey, what about this? And it's like, oh, blah, 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 this details. Yeah. 
So I am using my round nose pliers here to get the center of the itsy bitsy spiral positioned. Do you ever light those candles? Yes. Under the teapot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just have one candle so it doesn't scorch. So we've done the little bend. How dare you add logic to this chat? <laughs> That's real. Where you said those come from? Where what came from? Ooh, these are from our buddy Gavin, who is prototyping them. And so I don't know if they currently have any for sale. Um, but as soon as we find out, we'll let you all know. Uh, but they are super handy because like check it even with two beads in each thing and it has this like little lid that we could put over it and I could set another tray on top of it and like keep everything held into place but um whoo hey Tracy we did we got I married <laughs> yeah it's we got married a bunch like <laughs> Like, for a whole month, it seems. <laughs> Says, I love you anyway. Thank God. <laughs> like, I'm so lucky that the people in my life <laughs> love me. Because <laughs> I try my patience daily. Okay. And we do have a tutorial for this design-ish. Um, it's just simple spiral vine earrings, I think. And so now, what's crazy, Kelly? Ooh. I'm going to come in, just trim off the little ends that got a little messed up from stringing the beads on. <laughs> Running around cleaning. Oh, goodness. Our house is needing a good cleaning. Like, we were hanging out in the living room last night, and I just looked around and looked at Randy and was like, it's a mess in here. And he's like, it's getting pretty bad. <laughs> It is clean. It is clean. Well, it's just stuff that, like, all the pillows look sad. Like, the house just needs tidied. And, like, the little cover on the ottoman was, like, slid off to the side. And Okay, so this is an inch and a quarter for the amount to spiral. And that's pretty long for me. I don't think I'm going to do it that long on the next one. But this way y'all get to see how that looks so i may be able i'm glad you only cut the enough for one um wave randy mm -hmm. because i may i don't know that looks really good i may end up going with needing four inches instead of five inches just because i don't want to waste any wire if i can help it so there's one pair of earrings Oh my god, I'm not going to get 200 or 100 made. It's going to be 30 minutes to get one. Good luck. Ah! Crafting intensifies. Okay. So I am just going to come through. Time for a speed move. Speed running this. And doing that 90 degree bend. So this is inventory for our booth. Um, We are still... I feel desperately understocked. Um, and so that's why I'm kind of beefing up. This is a very easily like replicable design that with some variation between bead color and shape and wire tone. Um, it gives us a whole bunch of variety. Um, and so by just make, like, I only have to, when I do this, I really only have to make a design once a year. So we'll make like a whole bunch. Ah, hey Tara, thank you, member for life. <laughs> yeah, they're so fun. Okay, so now I'm using just the tip of my pliers, just, just the tip, <laughs> to loop around. And I do want to have them be mirror imaged. So I guess I don't really know how I'm going to do that. Um, yep, I guess like that. And to get them to be mirror imaged, it starts with that first spiral. Oh, we got married legally uh, December 13th. And then we got married with the fam 
uh, with Randy's dad saying words over us uh, on December 26th. Which I loved. That was a lot of fun. Okay. So the length that I think I would rather have, let's try one that's short. And I like to do about a finger width. So yeah, that would have let us make it about an inch shorter. But it is really nice to uh, have that extra little bit of wire in case we wanted to play. Um, it's from our friend Gavin Misty. Uh, he doesn't have any for sale currently. We're prototyping this one. But um, we'll have to see. Maybe I can, you know, let me find. He had sent a note and everything and I've done lost it. Crap, because I was like, I'll put this where I won't lose it. Well, I lost it. I had his email, and I don't know if he wants me sharing his email publicly, but I was fixing to. Um, and that way, uh, if y'all, you know, y'all could email and be like, hey, I saw Vaughn using this, and I want one. <laughs> and that way he could give you more info, but I don't even know uh, what his email address is off the top of my head, and I don't know where that paper went. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm the worst at this. Ooh, that's cute with a little boop. I'm losing the charger. Oh no! Shereen says I had a native wedding because we're both Native American. Not too much of mine, but hubby is Iroquois Six Nations. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> well, thanks, Kiki. <laughs> I make myself a little bonkers sometimes, but that's all right. Hey, Kazili. At least until the mind grain gets worse. Oh no. I used to get migraines so bad when Randy and I first moved in together. Like, it, they were just light and sound sensitivity, everything. It was just terrible. So there's another one. Now, let's see. Do we need... Nah. So there's that one. Going that away. Crap, how do I do it? Yeah, I guess I'll have the left finger on top. No, I just did them. No. I did it the wrong way. Do -do -do -do. I don't know if y'all could hear my wrists popping. Yeah. Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> uh, well, thank y'all. We just celebrated this February was our 18 years of dating. And we're still in our first year of marriage. So I don't really want to restart the counter <laughs> to be like, year two. But it's very fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. December 1, December 2. And then we'll bring that around. I'm going to try doing this one a little longer. Hmm. Meg, the life struggles of a player. Sigh. <laughs> She's asking me questions and I'm like, I, I don't know, that's a boring question. <laughs> you have to stop okay. you're not busy. Gotcha. <gasps> Pro! Uh, Kelly says, just curious, it seems easier to start with swirls than add the beads and loop. Maybe. That's a pretty good idea. That's definitely a way of doing it. We may try it that way on the next ones. That's the wonderful thing about jewelry is, you know, you could have sit down five crafters and have them do a project and they'll come up with 20 different ways uh, of how to get there, <laughs> how to get it done. Hey, Esther. 
<laughs> oh, we're still, we're just getting into the thick of it, really. So there's those ones. And then, I think I do like starting the centers off with the round nose pliers. And I'm just making sure that they're mirror imaged by like this one. I did the wire on between the tip of the pliers and my hand. And now this one, I'm going to do the wire around towards the tip of the pliers. How did I? <laughs> they came out exactly the same. Um... <laughs> oh, pro. He says, I'll find a hundred ways to get it done and not get it done. Right? And they're all super effective. <laughs> There we go. So now we can dive in a little bit deeper. Yeah, no worries. No, it's I I expect all of y'all to be perfectly busy doing all sorts of your own thing. So don't feel like you have to engage in chat if you're in here. I love hearing from you guys, but get your work done too. You don't, like a lot of y'all have your own booths that you need to be stocking up for. Hey, kitty. Too nice for 10. Right on, Tara. Well, that's going to take a second loop around, isn't it? Yeah. That's okay. Ah, uh, right on. Ten years of marriage. Congratulations, Shireen. Oops. And then I'm just going to get these lined up. I think I personally have an easier time getting my spirals to actually match whenever I do the bead first. Wow, look. So I think we're going to be doing a craft along a thon sale of this design on the last Friday of March. Is that March 31st? January, February, March. Yeah, I think it was the 30th or 31st, whichever, not next Friday, the Friday after. So I did want to see how many sales we were going to have to limit that to. So that's kind of why I'm, I mean, I needed these for booth inventory as well. Um, ooh, Barbara says, I've been using Swarovski Rivoli trays for my beads. They look like the trays Gavin made. Right on. It's definitely, now he had designed these um, for chain mail, which they certainly are effective for, but I'm using them for just about everything here lately. It's especially nice whenever it's like, I just want to get things paired off. Holy crap. We made four pairs of earrings. Hey, Randy. Mm -hmm. If I set these over here, will you attach <laughs> yes, I the ear hooks? So. Thank you. I lost the ear hooks. No, here they are. 200 ear hooks. Boom. <sighs> okay. I'm going to move this wire and then we are having a cup of coffee to pace things out because with intent... Whoa, I mixed those. You two are not the same color, are you? They might be. They are. The light was just hitting them different. Mm. Well, I don't want to get them mixed up and have a, the vintage bronze and the antique copper under different light like I can't tell them apart sometimes so unless they're under the same lighting next to each other so question yes am I putting these away mm. no you can't put them away yet <sighs> that's the face of frustration <laughs> but no okay huh I don't know I don't know why I need those I'm getting a cup of coffee guys Come hang out with me for a sec. Because while I'm making while I'm making these things, uh, these earrings, um, I'm not able to pay as much attention to chat. So now I've got y'all boop, boop, uh, right here. Simone's Treasures asks, how many making for anime? Um, all of these are just for our booth. So I don't know how many we'll actually have out for Anime St. Louis. Probably not many. Uh, on Friday and we'll use them to fill in some of our empty spots um, 
and stuff. But I just wanted to the tea party experience. Do what, babe? Hopefully all hundred. Hopefully all one hundred, says Randy. But I love this. I used to put three candles underneath it, but it gets it too hot. Hot day. <laughs> um, but with the one candle, it just perfectly warm. But yeah, out of coffee and tea, had to find something warmer to put on. Oh no, Penny. Mm. Yeah, those are exactly what those are for, honey. Yeah, he just comes that. over and like super slow motion grabs and takes. My earring back. Well, I know you can smell fear and you can see movement. So ah. if I'm slow and calm. <laughs> what kind of sale are you talking about? Right. Well, we will be taking pre-orders on this style of earring. Not this Monday. But next Monday. It'll get added in with the shop update on Monday. And that way folks can place orders all week until we hit our cap. And then I'll be making the earrings live for you. Not next Friday. The Friday after. And I think Randy says they are $15. <laughs> so um, y'all can start thinking about uh, what metal tones you want or what beads and different things like that. So, and of course that's just if you want some earrings because honestly, I'm a happy camper even if I only have to make five pairs of earrings. But man, if I could make a hundred pairs of earrings, <laughs> as where, mm. Back to work. I've got a hundred pairs of to make. Ah, stress. That was a quick. I, I answered one question. Did good. <laughs> hey, <bad>. nuts. Let's <laughs> get back to work. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to use my flat nose pliers. <laughs> Just pound it back, guys. We got stuff to wrap. Not to be a naysayer, okay. but I don't think you're going to get it. Get what? A hundred pairs? Done today? Yeah, probably not. Not during the live stream. Maybe in the after party. We can try. I'm You're having so fun. Optimistic. You're optimistic. No. <laughs> yes, I You're am. You're a streaming we. Um, <laughs> so we're doing that 90 degree bend and then coming around into the loop. And these ones should be. Who's laying an egg out there? Do you hear that? Yeah. I believe that is our neighbor's chicken. Okay. You know, the one that roams the neighborhood. Right. The wandering rooster. Right? I love it. It's enameled cast iron, so it re retains heat really, really well. And, um,. You know, whenever I'm sitting around crafting like this, I don't often have the, especially when we're doing a live stream, my cup of coffee will just sit there and get cold. And one of y'all so kindly sent me one of those, like, coffee warmers that you, like, plug in. It's, like, for melting candles and stuff. Yeah, y'all shouldn't have done that. Well, it's, we went to, I, I've started using it for keeping my pickle warm whenever I'm doing metal smithing. And that's been a much better use for it because I don't know how many times I just left it on with a half drunk cup of coffee on it over a weekend when we were away from home. And we'd come home to like it had grown like an apple cider vinegar style mother on top. And it's like, well, we have to name it and keep feeding it now. Like, <laughs> right on us, too. Aw, congratulations, Elijah. Selling your crown. Oh, Tiara. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Your pickle? Yeah. Not like pickled cucumbers, but like how you keep your pickle warm. Oh, God. Pro, get out of here. <laughs> With a pickle warmer. Duh. It is a acidic. Yeah, it's um a Sparex acid solution. Like I just mix up some Sparex into like whatever proportions it tells me to do. But it strips the oils and like uh, fire scale and stuff off of copper and silver whenever I'm uh you know torching it and stuff and trying to solder things together. Pickles. <laughs> well, I got some chicken socks, but now I need some pickle socks. I do think. Pickle bomb. No. Okay, so now we got all those loops made. 
Now I'm not going to use these beads because they are pains in the butt. I'm going to use these ones because they're different pains in the butt. <laughs> Actually, I am still going to use this container, though. <laughs> oh, Jean says, I have about a pound of ear wires that must have nickel in them. Is there any treatment for them that you know of? Dude, not that, not that I know of. Um... it makes me wonder about what the core metal might be and maybe they're just nickel plated um but it's i'm sorry i don't have any good advice on that one it's i, I would honestly just donate them you know put with it with a tag on it that says you know has nickel in it for any other crafters um who might be out looking for nickel free ear hooks but I I donate them and move on just cuz I'd, I'd be super paranoid yeah those aren't gonna fit on there either boo boo and hiss <laughs> Ooh, that one fits though okay now I am gonna take Benjamin's advice <laughs> and have one I know no I've, I've got to I don't have time to play the does it fit game, even though it's my favorite. Ooh, Esther says, have you made jewelry for good luck? I mean, a lot of stones are for good luck, but have you made them for that purpose? My friends asked me for some. I think the most powerful thing about stones is how it makes you feel. So if somebody decide like if, if looking at this rock makes you feel lucky, then that's what it's for, I feel. Because it's, you know, you're going to have you know, your own feelings of things and stuff. And so, you know, for me, it's like, I would choose tiger's eye as more of a, a stone. Like to me, that's a lucky stone. And so I, I can't kind of make things for other people because I can't, you know, decide for them how that stone's gonna make them feel. And much to some people's chagrin, I really enjoy glass. <laughs> like, I'll be like, ooh, this one's a lucky one. And they're like, boo, that's, a, that's just a dumb piece of glass. That's not a rock. I'm like, oh, okay, it's fine. But I loved it, so it didn't matter. <laughs> Tara says, my teenager is in their first play tonight. Tegan's a gargoyle and the insane asylum dude in Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> right on. <laughs> it's, and I know that that's... You know, there's a lot of accounts that I follow on Instagram and stuff that, you know, have very specific purposes for very specific gemstones. So I'm like, man, is it pretty? Does it make you happy to look at it? And that's, that's the most valid. Um, okay, so now we're using 18 gauge para wire. And I'm putting on these teeny tiny beads. Yeah, you could take it to a scrap metal place, but some folks have no trouble at all wearing uh, ear wires with nickel in them. So it's, they might still have value to somebody as a, uh, as an ear hook. Oh, Barbara says, where can I buy bulk stainless steel ear wires? I've been getting mine from Fire Mountain Gems here lately. Yeah. And if you want to do, um... Actually, if you'll wait just a bit, I haven't finished the piece, so I don't know how much excess. Now, I do love the historical applications from like the Egyptian Book of the Dead and different like mythologies and stuff. I love, you know, learning about that as far as stones go, but that's, that's about as far deep as I get into it um, through the business. But uh, we had started, when I first started making jewelry, I worked at a little bit of a metaphysical head shop, 
and I would see people like you know we'd go to these craft shows and different festivals and things where you'd have stone vendors and they'd get into like peeing races with each other about who had like the more potent stones and like a lot of these different things and I'm like both of y'all neither of y'all dug these up out of the ground you know you didn't see the stone be born like you didn't it's you know you wholesaled it from the same lapidary but like and anyways um and so it kind of I, I got very cynical and jaded about it for a while um and it's taken about a decade for me to kind of be able to ease back into that scene without just being very bitter about you know you're always going to get snake oil salesmen and folks who uh are there to try to take advantage of other folks and and that's unfortunate but It is what it is, I guess. Right? Artemisia says, I used to own a metaphysical shop. I agree with you. That's hilarious. They would fight about that. But it's just, just have fun with it. Like, I try to not take anything too seriously. Certainly not myself and certainly not my stones. <laughs> Though for all of y'all who've been over to my monster vlog, <laughs> you've seen my temple room. You know how much I love rocks. Ah, thanks, Mar. Comes in mystical things. Always begin with the legends say. Yes. This is. This is green adventuring. Oh, you know when I had set myself up for success and everything, and I keep not putting the ones that don't fit into the same container. Oh, you're all good, Penny. I'm just glad to see you in here. I'm so sorry it's cold. The cold just makes me miserable. Like, it feels depressing. Stop leaving the refrigerator open, says Randy. You know, like, especially if I have to, like, get anything actually done. <gasps> Mike says, when you sell crafted artist products, you put your heart and soul into it, then some clown wants to give you a dollar sixty-five. Right? <laughs> it's like you know. Wait, did I do... No, there's two stones there. Okay. No, y'all are good. Do you see me with a red pen correcting your typos and criticizing grammar or anything like that? Don't sweat it. Nope, that one doesn't fit. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bye, Harley. Have a great rest of your day. Who's that? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know what's going on in the show. Yeah, that's a surprise, though. Oh, oh, I'm not allowed to tell surprises? Shh, Randy. But also, just... <laughs> Tracy said, well, poop. I'm, I guess I'm gone. Bye, everyone. <laughs> We're back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh no sometimes that happens oh no really testing testing We need a visual or audio of Randy right now. He's okay, I promise. I learned my lesson. <laughs> He's such a goober. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> you know, some folks are gonna take you seriously, and they're gonna send like husband protection services over here. <laughs> oh my God! I can't stop. Oh, we'll just okay. There it goes. So now I'm gonna hold it, and the wire's coming off to the right. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing it with the. With the round nose plugs. Bye, Maddie. Bye, Maddie. We love you. Have fun shopping. 
Okay, so that one went off to that side. So now I'm going to have the wire going off this way. And maybe? Is that... Is that mirror imaged? Yes, it is. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> Well, do you want to come over and show folks, babe? Yeah, if I set down my pliers, I don't get any work done. <laughs> I'm just saying. Did I just... Did I make this... Yeah. Oh, mirror image is hard. That's okay, though. Hey, Melinda. How's it going? Okay, so now we've got those two... There's those ones, and now we're on to the last pair of the green event train. So that'll be, I mean, eight pairs of earrings, that's not nothing. that one and now there's that one I'm fixing to be able to let you know if you can start cutting more honey Ooh, oh that sounds cool Marianne okay so now we're coming around and I did the bend a little farther out from the bead so that we'd have room to nestle that wire there. Oh, I'm so glad. Melinda says, wonderful. Just got my first box today. The cabs are gorgeous. I'm so happy. Oh, it, it pleases me immensely to hear that. I'm so glad that you like it. And now we're gonna... Oh, today is my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Melinda. Happy, happy birthday. It's your birthday, yes. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday, it's your birthday, yeah. Okay, so again, still mirror imaged. Ish. <laughs> Those spirals are not perfect, but they don't have to be. What? My son just asked me to buy cupcakes for his entire class since it's his birthday on Monday. Right on. That's pretty cool, though. Like, yeah, you can, uh, if you could do these at just four inches, babe, instead of the five inches. Four? Yeah. Now I save all that scrap wire because I, you know, use it for other things as well. Um, I get my bulk stainless steel ear hooks from Fire Mountain Gems here lately. Just, I, I genuinely trust them whenever they say something stainless steel or sterling silver. I trust them that it's actually what they say it is. Whereas where I've been buying from on Amazon is kind of just hit or miss. But I'm personally particular towards uh, the ones that don't have a little ball and coil and stuff on them. 75 people in his grade level. Oh my goodness. Right? There's those ones. I'm going to set those off to the side for Randy to put ear hooks on. Excellent. It's perfect how you're joining them together too, honey. Uh -huh. I'm just letting you know. Now with these next ones, instead of opening up the hook on the ear hook, mm -hmm. um, you can do the hook on the earring. It's easier to get joined back together. Hook on the earring? Yeah. On, uh, on the... You can open that and put it onto the oh, ear hook. Yeah. Really? Really. Okay. Um, cause these ones. You want me to close them? Okay. It was really it was just the one that I'd looked at. All the other ones are still really good. But if if I had done that, you'd have let me know that I needed to close them tighter. So, returning the favor. 
Gotcha. Elijah says, I do something similar with JTV. They sell refractive index fluid used in authenticating gems. It's four times the Amazon price, but half the time Amazon stuff is bunk. Can't have that. Yep. <laughs> Same, Tara. I still remember just the pure, absolute excitement of receiving our first Fire Mountain Gems order. Right on, Penny. She says those coil and ball ear hooks have been around since the 60s. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're nice. It's just it gets to where um, not all, I don't want that on all my designs. Okay, so we line up the coils and then I'm just getting a little farther out. And snipping. It is, I think, when people would see the ear hooks with the coil and ball when we first got started into jewelry making and you know, selling and stuff, um, they'd see it and be like, it's like they didn't believe me when I told them it was nickel free. Whereas whenever we did the style like these ones, like, I guess just because it looked different, folks would believe us that it was nickel free. And I mean, it's not like we were lying or something. Like, whenever you sell at like a local show and you do it every year, lying to your customers is like the worst business strategy. Um, so I don't know why po people would be like, why, why would you lie to me? And it's like, well, I'm, not, I'm not lying to you, it's nickel free, but anyways. Ooh, uh, for the ear hooks, I personally, or for the earrings for the star flowers, Leela, I really personally like four and six millimeter, but you can do eight and ten, and I mean, you can go huge with it. It really depends on who's buying the earrings or what your own taste is. Or still earrings, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Marion says, we thought that we were going to sell our house, so we packed everything and put it into storage. We just changed our mind, and I don't get my craft supplies back till next month. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a, what an adventure. I hope everything's okay. Like, moving is very um, tumultuous. Like, even just the doing the rearrange here. Like, we didn't even move houses but we did pack up the craft room more or less and move everything around and probably get everything in the cemetery yeah it's i'm already looking at stuff being like i haven't touched you since the rearrange do i really need you <laughs> give it time yeah and it's So we're just spiraling in. By the way. Yes. I don't know what this is. Uh, that is just a random piece of wire. Tightening up that spiral just a little bit more. There we are. Digging them. Hey, water. It's going really well. How have you been today? But yeah, just getting a bunch of earrings made up to this point. And then they seem to fly by, don't they? 
I'm going to do this one with a smaller. Now again, I save all of my scrap wire over here in just a little bin. And that's all the scrap wire I've built up so far this year, which is more than I would have liked, but I was trying to do a no scrap, like where I used every little bit, but it can sit in there and wait. That's pretty envious. What up, babe? Moving houses is something I've never gotten through. Live in the same address all my 60 years of life. Wow, getting to have the same home. All your memories in one place. That's amazing. It's this April, I think, will be our 10 year anniversary of living in this house, which I think is the longest I've ever lived anywhere. Like, I think Randy might have lived in his childhood lo home longer than what we've lived here, but we're creeping up on that too. Not by much. Not by much. Now, the longest I had ever lived anywhere was five years. And that was the trailer I was born in. So, and then after that, it was about three years. Yeah. So far, the done earrings. I've got a couple more for Randy. But we have these ones over here we've already wrapped. These ones are waiting for Randy to put the ear hooks on. And this is just the design that we're doing. So, I'm gonna have another cup of coffee. That should be still nice and hot. It's been a long week between our son coming home, preparing for surgery on Tuesday, and saying goodbye to our oldest for a baby. Oh, water. Goodness. That's just hard. Like, that's a busy week anyways, but saying bye-bye to fur babies is hard. I'm grateful every day that we've got Z and Ember and I miss Sam and Callie every day. You Cheers, everybody. For taking up all the beds? No, I'm not sore at Millie for taking up two thirds of a king bed. Of course I'm sore. I'm physically sore. I was hanging off the edge of the bed all night. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I do that to you all the time and you still like me so yeah. right <laughs> Wendy you still like me right yes he's blinking really hard <laughs> like they can't see you there no one's gonna send help <laughs> do you see the pic of the piglets spot yes oh my god they are so cute are they doing okay through the cold six pound dog that runs me off the bed right <laughs> that's about how it goes Artemisia says cheers <laughs> worst of all it was on our 25th anniversary oh water <sighs> it's an honor to get to remember them is what I keep telling myself to get myself through it. So we're flipping this back around <laughs> and doing another wave of earrings. Woo! So we're getting a little faster. Minutely. So are you sure you want to do these for your craft along with them? Yeah, why not? Okay. I mean, it's gonna be it, a long stream. I'm not gonna lie, I'll feel really lucky if we sell 10 pairs of earrings. Yeah. So, I, I don't think we'll be making, I'd love to be proven wrong, but I don't think we're going to have to make a whole lot of them for the craft along a thon Though we'll see. Um, do you want to go ahead and cut me another wave? I could. That'd be really cool. So, I'm coming through and doing about half of an inch in from the end and I'm doing this on the ends that are cut flush hey Anika how's it going
But yeah, I like doing it on the end that's cut flush. That way whenever we make our loop, it sits, boop, butted up against each other. Tara says, I only sold three pairs last weekend. That's okay. Inventory does not go bad. You are now that much more prepared for your next vending event. Or for running a sale, or for... Is Randy wearing green? I don't think so, but I'm not going to pinch him because I really want him to like me. <laughs> so... Ah, uh, hey, Terry. But yes, yeah, so I'm just going to come in. No. You are? Did you just go change into something green so no one can pinch you? He has on a green uh, lantern ring. Yeah. That's me and Ben's friendship oh, ring. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Do you want to show him? No. <laughs> me too, quiet. I'm really digging him. Did you just sassily? Why are you so sassy? What? You're so sassy. Did you just accuse me of something? Of being sassy, yes. Am I wrong? Maybe what you accuse me of being sassy over. You're just like sassy. I don't know. <laughs> just a little pinchy. Nah, he he went and put something green on. I can't get him. <laughs> I've been wearing it for a while. Oh, have you? Not my fault. You don't pay attention. <laughs> yeah, I I really don't pay enough attention to you. <laughs> He is. He's all feisty. But I can just hear him being sassy over there. Really? I, I think I'm just sore that the other day you made a bag of popcorn and I didn't get to eat any of it. <sighs> because I was in the other room. How am I supposed to eat half of your food if you don't if you don't bring it to me? <laughs> if I make it while you're not around? <laughs> Uh, they're they're right here, Esther. These are the the design that we're making today. So we're using mostly six millimeter beads, but I do have some eight millimeter bicones uh, here. What color should we do next, y'all? It's gonna be one of four. Oh, you're talking about the beads. Yes. <laughs> ah, Rachel said that's a good thing about having green eyes. If I forget, I'm still covered. That's fair. Okay, and now we get to see. Ooh, we're doing red. Esther said red. I'm gonna try to cram some of these beads. Wow, Joette says my roots are deep. I am 68 and have only lived in six houses in my life. I've never lived more than five miles from my childhood home. Now my forever home is a mile from my childhood home. That's awesome, though. Wow. Like, especially in this age of where you can kind of go and just, you know, rent an Airbnb literally almost anywhere. Um, you can go and you can travel and do all sorts of fun stuff and get wild with it. But getting to come back home, that's such a rare and beautiful feeling. That's something I didn't have for a long time. I didn't really know where home was. Then I met Randy. And home is now where... Look at you. Now look at me. No. <laughs> Ooh, right on, Arito. Um, We send out our boxes every Monday. So hopefully you'll be getting your subscription soon. I think it's a good size, right, Joette? Home is where my sewing and craft stuff is. Yeah. It's for me, home is in bed with Randy, with like all the dogs and cats and just lounging about probably scrolling through our phones <laughs> showing each other memes or you know watching bob's burgers or something it doesn't matter where i'm at on the planet if i have that i'm home 
Ooh, I love that, Esther. Red with black, white, cream color. Yes, pops. Lisa says, the last show I did, I sold 3,000 the first day. Two day shows, 7,000 total sales. What? I listened to you. Still came home with a lot of finished material waiting for next show. Man, Lisa, high five. That is awesome. And that's the thing that, I mean, you can only sell what you're prepped for. And you never know when you're going to have a really good show like that. That is a really good show. <laughs> oh, no, Sabaya. <laughs> he just woke up sassy. Oh, Marianne, that's awesome. Since it's been a year since I quit my job and became an independent contractor, I love being free and setting my own hours. I have so much time for crafting now. That's really awesome. Oh, family cuddle time. <laughs> Do our fur babies and we curl up in front of the TV. Yep. <laughs> But it's, it took us years to build up our inventory to where we could do a show um, where we sold really, really well and had enough inventory um, to do another show the next weekend. Because that's the thing. is I mean, it's one thing if you've got like a month or two in between each show, uh, which is nice, <laughs> you know, to give yourself some time to prepare. Um, but we did... I always talk about, but this was the hardest it ever was for us, but we had nine shows back to back to back. So for nine weekends, we were away from home just in a row. And it's, we didn't have any time to do anything. Receive orders, you know, like we weren't home to receive packages. We weren't able really to place orders for anything. So it's like we had to be prepared to do nine really good shows back to back to back so even if we were to only make let's call it two thousand dollars in sales per weekend we still had to have eighteen thousand dollars worth of product made now the thing was that unfortunately now this was pre-pandemic and stuff too i think it was 2018 um we did those nine shows and we didn't have any more money at the end of the nine weeks than what we did at the beginning of the nine weeks because the profits we had made at some shows you know got lost at others um and it was just and that's whenever we started really lean fortunately really leaning into the youtube channel and like we were able to make some pretty serious changes with our business um but it's just everybody was charging so much for booth fee and hotels were so expensive and just Oof. But we had to be ready to do our best. Sometimes you get dealt the worst, but it's it's a good feeling to at least have showed up prepared. Yeah, no worries, Esther. These are things I wish I had heard before I started vending, just to have a realistic expectation of sometimes it sucks. And if you want it to be awesome, you have to be prepared for it to be awesome. What? Marianne says, this weekend is our first Comic Con. Oh my god. We are Star Wars cosplayers. Hubby is a Mandalorian. I'm so excited that spring is almost here. Oh my god, that's so exciting. I hope you all have an absolute blast. It's hard not to at a convention. They are so much fun. For? How long it takes the website to delete something? Oh, really? I've been waiting an hour. Oh, my goodness. I thought of another way that you can help me with these earrings. How's that? You could put the beads on them. <laughs> it's hateful and they're tiny. <laughs> 
pro tip to get a hundred earrings made, just lock Randy in a room with all the earring stuff and that boom, they're made. <laughs> Ooh, there's an Oklahoma Comic Con in August if you guys can make it. We may for just attending, but I don't think we'll be prepared for vending. We'll really have to see where August what <laughs> that's for hashtag after anime St. Louis. <laughs> Okay, so now we have that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and do. And do the peas on there. You'll put the beads on. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. Okay. I'm making a mess. What does it look like I'm doing? Okay. I gotta put the peas on them. <laughs> I feel like you could read. <laughs> <laughs> what was happening in my brain? No, I could not. Well, good, because it was weird. <laughs> Randy, put face in cam and blink very hard. We will call for help. No, 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 he's fine. <laughs> so I'm just coming through, and I'm getting these prepped up for Randy to put the beads on. Bend. I don't think it'll be as big as Tokyo and Tulsa was, but it could be fun. Yeah. I'd love to go and do some tabletop gaming. But we'll have to check that out because we had a lot of we had a really good time and did very well at Tokyo and Tulsa. Um right up until it kind of went out the window, but that's fine. Right on. Is mm -hmm. stainless steel, no nickel. What does it consist of? Hard to get hold of in the UK. Um, stainless steel sometimes does not contain nickel. Sometimes it's the nickel coating that makes them say that it's stainless steel. Um, I believe 304 stainless steel, um, like 304 to 311 stainless steels do not have nickel in them, but you will need to fact check that because I haven't Googled it in about a decade and things change. Um, but it's, uh, I, I have no idea if it's easily available in the UK or not, but it's, um, never been, never been. <laughs> oh, wow. That's amazing, Esther. Gotcha. Yeah. Whenever we first started, as I said, years ago, I started making jewelry just for my friends. Did you I got say hundreds of years ago. I no, making jewelry. hundreds of years ago. No. <laughs> uh, it's a Esther says years ago I started making jewelry just for my friends. I got my product from the same place you got yours. I got married in 2012, come to live in a native community where they make bead jewelry. That's really awesome. Then she goes on to say, so all my inventory is in boxes, sad face. No way to sell here in my small town. Yeah, whenever we first started our business, we lived in Fayetteville, Tennessee, which has a whopping like 6,000 people. And at that time, other than living in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, this was the biggest town I had ever lived in. Um, so, okay, honey. Here's the beads. Here's the other beads. And here's the loops. So do you need more wire? Yeah. Because I can get it to that step and then put it over for you to... Oh, thank you. But I really liked living there because it was so affordable. We were able to rent our apartment for like $300 a month, which, you know, 
It was a while ago, but it was at least a couple hundred less than, you know, the next city over what they were charging for their cheapest apartments. And we were in like a two bedroom townhouse for like three fifty a month. Um, but we were able to live in that very like affordable, um, kind of a depressed economy in that area. Like it was agricultural, like there wasn't really anything bringing in new folks. So like we did well our first couple of craft shows, but then we had kind of tapped out all the people who came to craft shows in that town had already bought stuff from us. So, um, um, okay. But, uh, but we could live there where it was very affordable and then travel to like, you know, two hours north to Nashville where it was way out of our price range to live but people were like oh my god look at this door and like there were you know people would travel in from other towns and so we could by being mobile with our business we were able to tap into a much broader client base um and this was again kind of before not everybody knew what etsy was whereas nowadays i think everybody knows what etsy is or at least has heard of it um so it was being able to experience that, you know, selling to folks states away without having to have an online presence. Ah! <laughs> Marianne says, I just let my husband know that I am watching you live and he is so excited. He knows how much I've missed your live streams. I'm going to schedule you in as a meeting so that I can watch from now on. <laughs> well, right on. That's hey. a, I, yeah, we try to do this every Friday uh, from 2 to 4 p.m. And then we usually take like an hour break and then we do our private live streams for our Happy Crafter Club members, which those are um, $1 and up on Patreon here on our YouTube channel membership and on our uh, backtoearthcreations.com subscription service. That's our Happy Crafter Club. But we're glad to have you. It's, it, we are nothing without our community. It would just be me here, like being like, okay, Randy, do more work. <laughs> like. Like, I keep blinking, but the neighbor doesn't understand. <laughs> oh, honey. Kelly says, my town is tiny, 3,000 people. I guess I'm very fortunate. I have a little display at my work with my jewelry. Uh, I sell between 75 and 100 a week, but maybe because it's new, only six weeks. I hope it continues. Right on. Oh, that's awesome, though. That's not nothing, too. 75 to 100 extra a week. That's... That is not nothing. <laughs> okay, there you go, honey. And so now we're going to come in with the red ones. And I've got the first wire coming this way. And I'm just going to line these up to hopefully be in a way that I don't have to think too much. What you owing, babe? I didn't realize you were doing red ones. I've been trying to catch up and get ahead of you. How do you mean? Oh, okay, I see. Well, that's perfect. You're doing exactly what I needed. So thank you. Haha, the mirror. Do 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 Gotcha. Esther says, I'm in a small town. I can't convince my hubby to go to big town where I can be more creative. Now, don't underestimate the value of uh, the internet, too. Like, it's really completely changed our business and opened us up to now we don't have to travel. Which is amazing because that stuff's expensive. And I still kind of feel like, nope, like, I've never enjoyed living in cities. Like, it, I'd very, like, 
just having to deal with traffic every day, just to exist, having to deal with traffic. Uh -uh. I'd rather have to drive an hour. It's an hour of no traffic. So long as it's an hour of no traffic. <laughs> so, uh oh, I got turned around. Pro says I miss the options. Me too. We're gonna. I don't. Randy says I don't. Do you not? Nope. They're a lot of work for you. Yep. You do so well at them though. Like you make it, you make it look easy. So thank you for like doing all the work that you do and doing it so gracefully. <laughs> Simone says, I miss the rains down in Africa. <laughs> to pro. I miss the <laughs> You're killing me. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We can do this. And then bring that around. Bring it. Right. <laughs> bring that around. Do, 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 do. Honey, this is helping so much. Thank you. Now, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm missing questions. Uh, mm, okay, now, if you want something that is 100% no doubts nickel free, I do recommend Niobium ear hooks. Uh, I get mine from the Ring Lord. So it's been a while, so you, that you might need to check and see. But it's N I O B I U M. It's an elemental metal. Like I believe it's the same stuff that they use in like pacemakers. Uh, very, very non-reactive. Like you're not gonna have to worry about it oxidizing and leaving metal residues on your skin. Uh, but it's like six dollars per um, pair of ear hooks. It's so it's expensive. Um, but I don't much care for the way gold looks on me, so uh, that's my go-to. And then I also, I've had fantastic results with just, like, these earrings that I'm wearing here. Maddie and I had actually made these. I made one and she made the other. And y'all, I cannot even tell which is which. So, she did such a good job. But uh, these ear hooks are parawire. And you can see we it was 20 gauge pair of wire and I hammered it out just a little bit and um, those have been doing phenomenally now you have to make them yourself but that's all right yeah Simone says niobium is used in body jewelry like belly rings because of the fact it's hypoallergenic it's good stuff And that's just, uh, titanium works pretty well also, though I don't know if I've seen any, uh, titanium ear hooks, at least not for sale for crafters. But also, I don't know if I've looked. <laughs> but yeah, so a really affordable option would be to just make your own with Parawire. Um, and they've got, like, uh, ear hook jigs and stuff, that way you can make quick work of it. It's a times a train, and we throw it away. Yep. Well, just into the other bin, right? Yeah. Okay. So I, I ran out of my three millimeter that I usually prefer, and those fit on no problem at all. But I didn't want to do the design without beads, you know.
Ooh, Quiet Space says, what about silver plated pair of wire? Any good, no nickel? I would recommend their. Hmm? So, what about silver plated? Oh, no, honey, I'm calm sure. down. <laughs> um, I really like Parawire's titanium toned silver because I have not had it turn yellow through prolonged UV exposure the way that I have their silver plated silver. Um, and none of their enameled stuff has uh, nickel in it, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> so. And I'm just going to get all of these started just a bit because I want to do kind of tight coils on them or tight spirals. Do you need the end of the wire trimmed? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they get tricky. says do you think the ones they sell at Walmart will turn yellow um like the ear hooks or because also it's tricky uh the Walmart here in Carthage does not carry all the same stuff as the Walmart in Joplin or the Walmart in Springfield so I, I don't know City. or the one in website like so it's uh, I I don't know what your Walmart's carrying and I can't speak for it but I don't typically trust much of anything from Walmart. Um, actually, a lot of the wire that they have is actually uh, anodized aluminum, so it's very, very soft and supple, um, and does have some nice applications. Like, I wouldn't mind using it for the, the earring charms, um, but again, my local Walmart, it's also soft that uh, it, I, I, I would definitely be doing wrapped loops on it. And I don't use it for anything that's overly structural. <laughs> but uh, I always, whenever I'm trying out something new, um, I have a potted plant that I keep on my front porch that I'll stick a bit of the wire in uh, to where it gets like basically full sun and I'll just see how it ages like I did that with some resin pieces and stuff as well because um, it's like I don't want to sell something and then you'll have it be you know it lasts for about six months and then it starts you know acting up or ooh, we got some trolls in the dungeon. I got it, babe. Whoop. Bobby says, always wear a piece of my own jewelry. People ask, and that got my first sale years ago. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I remember we had a substitute teacher in my AP chemistry class once and some of the other students were like making fun of her because there was a tag on the necklace she was wearing um, and and she handled it in stride I have immense respect for anyone who can tolerate being around teenagers ever if you're around teenagers ever you're a hero <laughs> Thank you for your service, for putting up with them, <laughs> because we were horrible <laughs> as teenagers. Um, we, we. Me and the other kids in class. Like, we're just, they're just little monsters. Um, <laughs> absolute little monsters. Uh, but I remember just kind of seeing that and being, as soon as she was like, oh yeah, I make my own jewelry. You know, this this piece is for sale, and then she showed us, like, her earrings and her bracelet, and I remember looking at her and being like, mm, I'm on to you. And it, it was probably the one of the first times, 
in my, like my current bout of sentience um that I, it occurred to me that's like you could make and sell jewelry and so it was just it was really cool i think that she did that and tara says i'm a superhero <laughs> like teenagers are simultaneously some of the coolest and most interesting young people and also just like oh my god you're terrible go away <laughs> What are your parents? What? Go. <laughs> Shouldn't you be like, I don't know, on TikTok or something? The bro says, I'm a Virgo. There we go, another pair of earrings. And I say that only because I remember feeling like, man, I can't wait to grow up and be a grown up and be around other, like, competent grown ups. Because <sighs> they were making us do, like, group projects and stuff in class. And so I was like, oh, I can't wait to be around, like, competent people and then now as an adult all the other adults are just the same turds I went to school with we're horrible <laughs> ah! Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Sabaya says, I'm still waiting to feel like a grown-up, and I'll be 35 next month. Right? Oh, baby. So Randy has gotten quite a bit of work done ahead of me. Which is awesome. But no, they're not all bad. It's, I I think just sometimes being in a school environment can bring out the worst in anyone. Like, I did not want to be there during high school. <laughs> Artemisia says I'm 56. My daughter tells me I'm 12. That's the way to do it. <laughs> right on, Jean. Ooh, Jennifer says, made my own bead link chain for my glasses when I first started wearing them back in 2010. Oh, well, that's cool. Yes. Oh, I'm very lucky that all all the, you know, young people in my life are actually quite amazing. Like, you know, Maddie and Izzy and Abby and Izzy just got a boyfriend and he seems pretty cool. And it's just so it's, it's not done for. I just remember being a teenager and hated it, so... Oh, you're good, Quiet. Keep an eye out for on your email and stuff, too. <laughs> do, do, do. So I'm coming through. Hey, GP, how's it going? Welcome to the chat. We were just hanging out, making some jewelry, complaining about teenagers. The young whippersnappers and their TikToking. <laughs> with their music. Get out of my yard. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Virginia says, went to parrot teacher last night and had three out of five of my 15-year-old son's teachers tell me they caught him watching Avengers on his phone instead of paying attention in class. Yeah. So it sounds like the curriculum in class needs to cover the multiverse. Yeah. And it's, I can't say anything because that was me. I always had like a different book hidden inside the book I was supposed to be reading. Or, you know, like, having it angled in a way where, like, the teacher couldn't see. The teacher knew what was going on. They had to. Did they? Did they have to? Surely so. But it's like, I was quiet. I still did my schoolwork, even though I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but it's too early in the day to start deep diving into all the things wrong with um, public education. <laughs> And how unengaging and just worrisome it is. Because it's like, I can behave for about four hours once a week. Um, and that's when we live stream. Four hours is really pushing. 
four hours is really pushing it. Um, and I'm a grown ass adult. I should be able to behave myself, but I, I just can't do it. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Virginia. Yeah, it's tricky business. Oh, wow, GP, well done. Good on them. Brenda says, I'm finally trying out felting. Have made a ball and a heart, but the best thing is that it is very therapeutic to be stabbing with a very sharp needle. It yes. is until you hit yourself. Until you hit yourself. Randy's right on this one. <laughs> that brings so much rage into my heart when I stab myself with one of those freaking barbed needles. <gasps> Ooh, Barbara says, hip replacement not quite two weeks ago. Sore, but making stock. Oh, crafting through it. <laughs> That's very cool. Just have Randy hold it for me. No, I don't like stabbing Randy. <laughs> It'll complain me. <laughs> no, he just bleeds on everything. Bleedy. Ooh, leather thimble. Get all complainy and bleedy. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Randy. So, Randy's actually, like, way ahead of me now on... The, making these uh, earrings, which is just very, very helpful having him go through and kind of prep everything. Okay, so we've got all the pink and all the blue. And so now I'm going to stack these the same way I did last time and hope that I stay on track. Because this is, I think, in theory, this is helping me keep the mirror imaged. So long as I don't rearrange them again. <laughs> These pinks are really pretty, babe. Mm. These pink ones are really pretty. Oh. oh no! Two of the pink got put on bright copper. Submission. Or is one of these. I'm trying to figure out what's bright and what's antique. I see. I just had them mixed up. Alright. Thank you, baby. Woo wee. Is it scam likely? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, the loading the beads on does go by a lot faster, but it also, it's it's really nice that I don't have to do both um, whenever, whenever he comes in and helps. It lets me kind of one-track mind it. So now to try to help keep this mirror imaged which two out of two is working so far um, I have one with the wire painting away from me and one with the wire pointing towards me and I'm just making sure that I load it into my pliers the same way it was on the table and then I wrap the loop eep, between the tip of the pliers and my hand So there's that one. And so again, it was facing towards me. So I'm going to load it into my pliers and then I'm going to wrap the loop where the wire is passing between the tip of the pliers in my hand. Hooray. It's working. Oh, I'm sorry, Crafty. I don't think that I did. Would you mind resending it? Oh, I am super behind on comments. I have the patience to stab something a thousand times. <laughs> Jennifer says, The beads I put on my chain links range from glow-in-the-dark kids' beads through glass, crystal, to labradorite chips and bronzite tumbled stones. That just sounds beautiful. It's right to take over the world. Oh, so we're going to find the most perfect flesh in this hour. <laughs>
There's another one, mirror imaged. Uh, Erica says, wouldn't mirror image be if you turned the earrings around? The part that I'm looking for to be mirrored is the way that these loops are. And so if I were to just flip it over, you could see how they're still... So if I had done the loops both the same way and then just flipped one over, it wouldn't necessarily be um, mirrored. I think. Ooh! Oh no, I haven't done any Harry Potter ones. That sounds cool, though. I sent three that are saying continuous story. Could you look back? Okay. We were arranging our son's meds. There's a young lady whose mother gave her a necklace with a focal. However, she didn't know what it was made of. I asked. And thanks to I was able to tell her it was Dye Crow. Aww. <laughs> there we go. So they're just coming around. Ah, <laughs> uh, I I don't want to make people dance and bow to an algorithm. It's <laughs> if you're lucky enough to find me in the channel and you like it, then stick around. But no, you don't have to press buttons. Like just just enjoy yourself. <laughs> now that being said, if everybody wants to click the like button, be <laughs> cool if you did. <laughs> another one. Oh my god, this is so many earrings. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna hit the hundo. Oh my god, it's 4.05. Ah. We're five minutes late. Boop. Do I just keep crafting through? No. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! I don't think I grabbed the correct one. Um. What do you mean you didn't grab the correct one? I had the last one stacked differently than the other ones. Okay, it's still mirrored. Ooh, I, I, I don't know. Mm. I was specifically trying to do it all exactly the same way. Like, okay. Well, Take off the <laughs> Is it still deleting? Mm -hmm. Oof. The website's been getting trickier and trickier. Like with just little quirks that it's developing, like not liking to uh, update or send emails. Right. What up, babe? Now every item doesn't have a monetary listing in the stock. Mm. Cool. Uh, bye, Benjamin. Thanks so much for hanging out. Yeah, it is 4.07 here in our neck of the woods, and so we're supposed to be taking the dog out and doing that whole thing. So we got... Well, okay, so we were shooting for 100, but we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, probably. Um, We got 12 pairs of earrings made. We'll get there though eventually. Um so um thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with us. If you do want to join us for our after party, it's just a dollar over on Patreon 
or you can go to our website backtoearthcreations.com and we do it through PayPal over there so if you like using PayPal for that um, and then also here on the YouTube channel membership I know it's like $1.99 or something but YouTube like like we still only see like 60 cents of that but regard it's there are options if you guys are into that um, but just a couple shy yeah <laughs> Bro. Um, but there's no pressure at all. We're literally just going to be doing more of the same with a little bit more hijinks, a little bit more tomfoolery. Um, and a, hopefully I'll be a little better about being able to keep up with the comments over on there as well. Um, but it's just, it's a really great way to support the channel if you guys are into that. But again, the best way to support the channel is to take care of you first. So thank you guys so much for being here. And it's still hot is the thing. I love that. Um, does anybody have any last minute questions before before we go? Will I drink this coffee? Do you have your website here? It should be linked down in the video description below. But it's backtoearthcreations.com. Uh, .com should be, like, should be us. Um, quiet space. Yeah, quiet. Ah, Mary says, I've been watching and learning. I enjoy your positive vibes. Dude, anytime. <laughs> How much wood does a woodchuck chuck? Well, it depends. Can a woodchuck chuck wood? Y'all deserve each other. <laughs> like, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. We don't want any. Um, oh, I just lost my phone. Okay. Just doing shots of coffee. Um, yeah, Marion says I've been a supporter for years now. A lot of y'all have, like, y'all have been such a part of our life. So thank you just for being here, just for being you. We're going to let you go. We will see you either in the after party or in Monday's shop update where we have surprise cabochons. Um, oh, what? Now you going to What? Them? Yeah. Mm. No, we'll talk about it more in the after party. But we will see you guys there. So until next time, y'all, happy crafting. Mm -hmm. Bye. Oh, I like it, <laughs> <laughs> Wow, who's there?